Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Akmir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Friday, the 10th of July. Starting off with Aura Energy, where uh, basically the shares did behave themselves in the end. They had the spike uh, higher, and uh, then support came in uh, at or just uh, around, or just below, in fact, uh, former resistance uh, around 0.39. Uh, nice push uh, back back higher today, uh, but breaking the inside uh, day of yesterday. Uh, the view at this stage is really uh, if we can get through 0.6 pence uh, today or on Monday. Uh, we should be able to hit the top of that broadening uh, triangle uh, from March last year as high as 1.1 pence, so plenty uh, to look forward to there. And uh, stop loss, I suppose, back below 0.4 pence again uh, as uh, a precautionary measure. Uh, next up is Arc Mineral, which Arc Minerals rather, which I know has its fans on Twitter. Uh, uh, finally, looks as though we're getting some uh, decent action here in terms of a. Uh, potential uh, recovery if I can get the trend line going here um, one trend line there from uh, January and just uh, an end of day close above two and a quarter pence uh, or end of week close in fact today uh, could be the trigger for further gains uh, obviously the initial target there or the target there over the next uh, month two months would be a retest of January resistance as high as three and a half pence suppose it, you, you would have the possibility of hitting that uh, March trend channel top at uh, two and three quarter pence first, but it uh, looks as though if we can break that line, we'll just go all the way up to retesting three and a half pence. Uh, next up, a stock which has been uh, slightly problematic for the bulls uh, over the recent past, uh, Edenville, but uh, uh, perhaps uh, this could be the chance now with uh, many uh, minnows starting to uh, recover um, after the post COVID uh, slumber. Uh, here we can see that there's a line of resistance there from June around the 0 0.05 pence level. End of day, end of week close above that, uh, either this week, next week, etc. Uh, could be the trigger for a move to the top of that rising trend channel that I've drawn uh, from November up to 0 0.1 pence. Stop loss on the bull argument at the moment, or the recovery argument, back below the 50-day line, just around the 0 0.04 pence area, if you're into stocks, which are that uh, micro cap. Uh, on to uh, the stock of the week and perhaps uh, the last, um, well, maybe it could actually turn out to be the stock of the year, in fact, uh, Eurasia Mining. Uh, no apologies for it appearing two days in a row here, as I was uh, told by more than one person that it would never appear here again. Uh, nice development in, in the sense that we've broken yesterday's intraday high of 15 pence, I did say, uh, or suggest yesterday above 15 pence, we could hit 25 and uh, Looks as though that may be on track over the next few uh, days or weeks, uh, perhaps. Uh, end of day close above 15 pence would uh, set the seal on uh, the breakup. Obviously, that would be an end of week close as well. And uh, this stage only really back below uh, the 12 and a half pence low of uh, the, the, today's uh, price action so far. Really even questioning the uh, ongoing uh, momentum move to the upside. So on Twitter, uh, somebody make a comment that uh, Empire Metals could be the new uh, Eurasia mining, and that did uh, sort of cause the shares to uh, jump up a bit uh, over the course of the day. Uh, the overall pattern here remains the same. I've covered the stock a couple of times uh, uh, previously above uh, above the 50-day line, currently at 1.65, looking for a top of February price channel uh, at a target as high as 3.5, 3.6 pence over the next few weeks ideally we get a decent end of day or end of week close above 2.5 pence which has been the resistance to date ahead of such a move uh, next stock uh, a requested stock by a long-standing twitter follower asking about uh, gulfstone uh, gulf keystone rather gulfstone uh, gulf keystone here you can see really uh, quite simple uh, resistance there at the one pound level and uh, the shares backing off again from that one pound level but uh, rsi still around the neutral 50 level and at least while we remain above the 50 day moving average at 86 pence uh, there is the chance of uh, a break higher for the shares uh, we've got an uptrend line uh, from march uh, running around uh, what's that the uh, well i suppose you could say it's the 50 day line level and so therefore above that the big picture target uh, as high as one pound thirty at the top of that rising trend channel from March, uh, but uh, if you are cautious, you'd wait for that uh, resistance line from June, just shy of a pound to be broken 
uh, on an end of day or end of week uh, close basis uh, before anticipating that £1.30 technical target. Haven't looked at independent oil and gas for a long time, but uh, the uh, queue is uh, today uh, on the basis of uh, this uh, break of the near-term triangle from March. Uh, I suppose that's at, uh, what's that, at 12 pence or so. A nice strong uh, daily candle uh, today. And uh, if we can close anywhere uh, near the 13 pence mark, uh, the next target for the shares would be the top of that March uh, trend channel up to 17 pence and hopefully much more after that but let's get to 17 pence uh, first um the next stock has been uh, all over twitter in terms of people saying how wonderful it is and uh, uh, finally it looks as though uh, the price action may be catching up we need to see uh, an end of day close or a weekly close above six and a half pence that uh, resistance line from february if we can get that uh, over the next day or week uh, then the target here would be the top of that march trend channel at uh, just shy of nine and a half pence over the following uh, few weeks. So looking quite interesting. Finally, for uh, Blue Jay Mining, stop loss uh, back below the 50-day line and that uh, April support line, so from 5.8, 5.7 pence or so uh, downwards, depending on your risk appetite. Uh, another request today from, uh, well, uh, from a, a follower, uh, Maestrana Group, a uh, great looking chart at the moment. I think I've covered it before, but that uh, pullback uh, from the end of June was a little bit painful. Uh, but uh, an end of day, end of week close above uh, the initial July resistance at 6.78 pence could easily take the shares up to uh, the previously uh, suggested target as high as 10 pence at that uh, uh, October resistance line projection. And in fact, uh, the way things are looking, uh, that could be the minimum on the upside. Uh, especially while we hold above 5.5 percent of 5.5 pence, which is the current stop loss on the buy argument. Uh, if you're looking for a play on gold and its uh, potential upside, maybe Scott's gold uh, could be the one for you. We've actually got a golden cross uh, today between the 50-day and 200-day moving averages, uh, which is a uh, a plus. Uh, we've also uh, maybe more importantly broken this line of resistance from October. Uh, at uh, what's that 74, 74 pence so above 74 pence on an end of day end of week close basis looking for quite significant upside top of that channel that I've drawn uh, from October heading as high as one pound fifty I suppose that's the two to three month target there for the shares this stage only really back but well below 70 pence really cancelling out the idea of a one pound fifty pence target there for uh, Scott Gold Finishing off with a stock which I was uh, slightly cautious on uh, yesterday, uh, tr trying to suggest that people don't get too excited about it uh, unless it broke uh, its 20-day uh, moving average. Uh, that was broken uh, quite nicely on uh, an end-of-day close basis uh, yesterday, and uh, we've obviously rocketed ever since uh, for uh, Tomco Energy. Uh, current situation is that uh, we're looking for, especially while we're above, uh, the uh, initial July resistance of 0.79 pence, looking for uh, a retest of uh, last month's uh, peak at 2.3 pence over the next uh, few weeks, or the, or the way things are going, the next few days. So uh, uh, let's see how that particular situation pans out. That's it for me today. More updates on Monday. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.